In this video we are going to talk about the velocity time graph of a simple harmonic oscillator which is oscillating in y axis. So just before we go ahead I would like to say that please uh, go through a video of displacement time graph of the simple harmonic oscillator right with the link is given in the description. So here the same situation this simple harmonic oscillator is oscillating like this right. With respect to that we are going to plot the velocity time graph. So you already know this very well that displacement is a sin omega t plus phi but since we have assumed the simple harmonic oscillator to be at mean position at time 0 so this 5 becomes 0 so the expression turns out to be very simple for us like this okay where this omega is 2 pi by t all right and this y is the displacement a is the amplitude t is the time if i differentiate this with respect to time like this i am simply ignoring this part so d by dt of a sin omega t now a is the maximum displacement so that's constant amplitude and this velocity is v because displacement if you differentiate it one time with respect to time you get the velocity right and this velocity will also be along y axis because velocity is along the motion of the object and the motion of the simple harmonic oscillator is in y axis. So this is a and differentiation of sine function is cos omega t applying the chain rule differentiation of omega t is omega. So here the final answer v t is equal to a cos sorry a omega cos omega t. Now cos function has maximum value plus 1. So if I substitute plus 1 I will get velocity maximum as plus a omega because this turns out to be plus 1 so the velocity is positive. If I substitute this as negative 1 I will get still the maximum velocity minus a omega please note that we are dealing with vectors so negative sign only represents the direction of motion it does not talk about the magnitude magnitude is this part a omega a omega so that is the maximum this means the oscillator is actually going up direction of motion upwards velocity upwards negative means oscillator is going downwards or this mass spring mass system is going downwards velocity is negative if i substitute this as zero then you will have minimum value as zero multiplied by anything is zero so the magnitude here is maximum this magnitude here is maximum here the magnitude is minimum okay so i hope you might have got this logic now what happens is if you look at this particular picture okay this is at time is equal to 0 this is time is equal to t by 4 time is equal to t by 2 time is equal to 3 t by 4 and time is equal to capital T okay so here the velocity is going to be maximum here maximum and here maximum and here the velocities are going to be minimum and minimum and why it is like that because at this position it stops okay it stops that's why let's take this particular equation a step ahead so this is velocity as a function of time that is a cos omega t which can also be written as a sorry a omega cos omega t it can also be written as a omega cos can be written as 1 minus sin square omega t now this can also be written as let's pull this a inside so omega becomes a square 1 minus sin square omega t because again if you pull it outside it will become this expression let's open up the bracket under root of a square minus a square sin square omega t which can be also written as omega under root of a square minus a sin omega t the whole square that is omega and this is under root of a square minus 
if you square this one up a square sin square omega t that is y square so you get the another equation of the velocity right and we are going to use this to plot our graph okay now let's look at this diagram this is the spring mass oscillation oscillation taking place along y axis at different location at time 0 t by 4 t by 2 3 t by 4 and time t at time is equal to 0 i am going to use this expression again y sorry velocity v is equal to omega under root of a square minus y square now i am going to substitute y0 that means at time is equal to 0 the value of y is 0 because here the displacement is 0 here displacement is maximum here displacement is maximum here displacement is 0 displacement is 0 displacement is taken from the mean position to where then where the mass is so if i substitute y0 over here I'll get the velocity as omega under root of a square minus 0 which means I'll get answer as omega plus or minus a correct so this is the velocity at this particular location I'll tell you 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 have two answers plus omega a and minus omega a but we'll we'll get back to that okay now let's take y is equal to plus a for this particular expression so substituting time t by 4 for time t by 4 the value of y is a and i'm going to substitute here v velocity is omega under root a square minus instead of y i'm going to write down a square a so a square is so v is equal to 0 so the same thing this will happen here also okay here because y is equal to a y is equal to a velocity is 0 here y is equal to minus a but since minus a whole square will be again plus a square so here also the velocity is going to be 0 correct now we took this particular case velocity is equal to plus omega a and minus omega a this is applicable here here and here look because y 0 is happening here here and here but if you look carefully this spring mass system is going upwards so i will have to take velocity v as plus omega a and when it comes down from here and when it reaches over here now it has a tendency to go down so velocity negative that is minus omega a then once again the velocity turns out to be zero now it goes up now from here it has a tendency to go upwards so it is omega a so the velocity is maximum then becomes zero then again increases and becomes maximum but in negative direction minus omega a. then again velocity decreases and becomes zero then again velocity increases and becomes maximum plus omega a over here so the maximum velocity are found at the mean positions please note here it has tendency to go upwards and upwards here downwards that's why positive and negative sign now let's use the same over here okay so at time t by 4 okay let's have a look at this at time is equal to t by 4 and 3 t by 4 extreme position the velocity is 0 so simply at time 3 t by 4 and time t by 4 the velocity is 0 independent quantity time is to be taken on x-axis velocity on y-axis maximum velocity is omega a positive and same minus omega a means maximum but in negative direction at time is equal to 0 it had maximum positive velocity plus omega a so the graph would start from here then at time t by 2 at time t by 2 minus omega a so at time t by 2 minus omega a like this here and then at 3 t by 4 0 and at time capital t again it is at mean position tendency to go upwards maximum velocity positive omega a so something like this now do not make a straight line the velocity is a cos function if you look at this one it's a curved graph and cos function starts from here so basically the graph is going to look something like this right like this one 
so it's a curved graph now very simple that if you find suppose if i give you some points like this like this like this like this and like this simple let me call this as point p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 now i'm going to draw the tangent at these locations and i'm going to get the acceleration because the velocity time graph slope gives you the instantaneous acceleration so if i draw a tangent here this tangent is going to make a obtuse angle with respect to the positive x axis wherever you find the obtuse angle please note the slope that is acceleration is going to be negative so here also the acceleration is going to be negative acceleration negative here if i draw a slope the acceleration is going to be zero here if i draw a slope i am getting acute angle over here so acceleration positive here if i draw a slope again with respect to positive theta is less than 90 degree so acceleration is positive here acceleration is going to be zero so these kind of questions may be asked to you